Guys, so store settings part two. Store settings part two. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so we've done the repricing, we've done the exciting bit. Now it's for time for the boring bit. Yeah, because the rest of the course has been so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's just the settings bits, guys. So do bear with us. So we've done the repricing. Now let's go on to automatic ordering. So. Automatic ordering is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, when somebody orders an item off of eBay, EasyTing will automatically order it for you on Amazon. So it's as simple as that, really. So we just got to show you which ones you want to tick. Yeah. And why. So um, we, well, this is definitely always going to be enabled. Um, automatic ordering, as you've seen before, is ten cents per order, and that just uh, you don't have to then do a manual order. We have experienced days where we've had to do manual orders, and they do definitely. take a while to do, o do. Like, overall. Um, we'll you show you how to do a manual order, but yeah, yeah. But you do in general, you don't want to be doing it. No. So enable. Right. We want yep. to mark. Um, shipped after auto, auto automatic ordering is complete so in other words um after the order is complete it's going to tell ebay that the uh, product has been shipped yeah and so it, it, mar it marks it basically you know there's a button on ebay if anyone's used ebay before it says uh, mark has dispatched so easing will actually do that for us as soon as the order is complete on amazon um so ignore max price we don't want to take that that's um so oh yeah so this is like if you buy an item off of um amazon and the uh, price has actually gone up because the listing on Amazon price has gone up. We do not want to uh, purchase that. So that's why we untick that. Um, in this case, you just have to cancel the order. And just to explain sort of um, more about the ignore max price uh, option. If uh, so, for example, uh, eSync actually track the price on Amazon. So what they're doing is they're constantly tracking the price, but it's say, say like every 15 to 30 minutes. So sometimes during that little short space of time, the price can move dramatically or just move in any direction. Yeah, and if yeah. it goes against us, if it's, there's still a profit, it'll take any profit. But if it's not, if it's you know, minus a penny or more, it'll just, it'll just stop the order. Um, and then we can decide whether to put it through or, uh, or to, to uh, deal with it. Another way. Yeah, or, or to cancel, cancel the it, order, yeah. which is also no problem. So it doesn't doesn't really matter. But yeah, we want to obviously keep that unticked. Right, delete address after automatic order. So we're going to tick this. The reason being is just otherwise your Amazon, uh, part of your Amazon um, sort of login, well, your account will get really clogged up. Yeah, like they so. do anyway. It doesn't actually delete all of them, but it's good to do it anyway because otherwise there's just a sea of addresses on, it's, on it's your It's basically Amazon. pointless data. So yeah, we so might as well delete it. But this, well this one isn't it. hugely important. But we tick it anyway because we just don't want uh, Amazon to have too many uh, like address on it because you've actually got to scroll past it sometimes as well. Yeah, yeah. And then exclude taxes from profit. That's actually new to. Yeah, me. that's a new one. So we'll, we can look in, look into that one. But that's I think not, that's probably more for the Americans. Yeah, anyway. it's not important right now. So we we will not worry about that. Right. So, do you not this this one gift? this right. one is optional. The gift message. We'll talk about the gift message first. So when an item sent out, we send it as gift, which hides the prices, um, and then that means that the price we sell on eBay, obviously, it's not going to. That's not the same price we're buying off Amazon. So we want to hide that price. So that's automatically ticked by eSync. In the message box, there you can actually enter a message. So um, if you wanted to, you could say, thank you for shopping with, and then you say your, say your username or your shop name. Um, have a great day, have a great week. You know, you can put a little message in there um, if you want to, a little gift message. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do a quick example for you guys. Right, guys, so this is a great little example. It's just thanks for ordering with us. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. That's just to try and get prompt them to also leave you feedback. Um, more feedback, the better. Um, have a great day. So, yeah, something like that, something pretty simple. Um, and they just get a little note on a piece of paper. Um, Again, this this one's optional. Uh, I've I've done it, it on optional, I've done it on one of my accounts, and others I haven't. Uh, I think generally I actually haven't put a mess message in place. Um, but you know you can you can do it. It, it is, but it's yeah, it's it's a, it's a minor thing. But yeah. at the end of the day, when you're first starting out, you're trying to build your feedback. It's, it's sometimes a good little idea. Yeah. So anyway, that's that. So save that. That is automatic ordering done. Right now we're going to go on to collages. So. Collages. We're yeah. gonna. We'll 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 briefly go over this. We don't actually use collages ourselves. All it means is the images that are pulled off 
I can uh, see uh, Easy Sync have actually got a video based yeah. on it. And that's, that's pretty much sums it up, really. Stop getting Vero's on eBay with Easy Sync collages protection. So you will still get them, um, but this is just the, the idea is that this stops you getting so many because you're not actually copying right yeah. the images so now because you put them in a collage. Yeah, so what it means is we're, we're, we're taking the images from Amazon. So let's say there's they've got five images of that product and then puts it into a collage. And then you can see here that there's different versions. You can have four pictures, three pictures, two pictures. So it'll take a, a like an amount of those pictures, whichever one you choose, and put them in, in that... Um, to the collage. Yeah. Um, it, it's meant to help with the Vero it's violations. It doesn't with, doesn't massively. At the end of the day, the best line of defense is still the blacklist. Yeah, yeah. So we, we don't actually use collages. I know some people that do, and they said it doesn't make, make much difference. But yeah, yeah. So it's up to you. If you guys do use collages, obviously you click enable. And what I whatever you do, I would not recommend this one or this one. Reason being is because there's photos right next to each other. And quite often on an Amazon listing, the first two or even three photos are pretty much the same. Um, I remember when I first started, I did use collages and I used this one and I got a lot of complaints of people thinking they were ordering two products when they're actually only ordering one. Um. So avoid avoid that collage for a certain and I would probably say avoid that one as well. But um, that's it really. So yeah, enable or not, we're not gonna enable that one. That's fine. Watermark, uh, this one's, uh, I like this one, this one's an interesting one. So with the watermark, you can actually put it in the top left uh, side of the picture. And what it, you can say, you can sort of, you can say like free delivery. It can say something like premium quality. You can say high quality, 100% uh, satisfaction guaranteed. And what you can do is you can find these little watermarks. They're like emblems you put on your picture. It's just kind of like reassure the customer and it makes it a little bit more professional. Um, so we can yeah. go on, should we show them? Should we go on Google? Yeah, we'll quickly just go on Google. So we'll just show you an example how quickly you can find them. Uh, Google it. Images. So we'll go... Um, um, what was it? Just a transparent... High quality badge or something. Badge. Okay, guys, so here we go. We just went on uh, Google Images and we just typed in transparent high quality badge. Um, just kind of take your pick, really. Yeah, anything. I mean, what you need to make sure is it's, it's a PNG image. And basically, that means it's going to have a, a, a sort of a, a invisible background. They're the best ones to use. You can have the ones with the white square around it, that's fine. But you see that one that says vector design. I know it's not the one we want. Oh, there's one that says premium there, look, underneath as well. So if you had, say, this, this one here. You could use this one because the see the squares around it they would be invisible now this one unfortunately has got shot of stock all over it so you wouldn't want to use that one but for example you want to use one with the little squares in the background because then it won't have a white square around the badge you just have the badge say this one was appropriate though guys all you got to do is save image as uh download it to your computer go back to easy sync choose file uh, click enable and yeah, no, choose, you choose file, and then, and then choose, click, file, yeah, choose well. file, click enable, and then and click save, it. and then that'll be it, and then it will come up on the top left um, corner of the, uh, of the of the image. We do recommend this one, we do use this one ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so there's loads of loads of different options out there. You could just have like a British flag if you wanted to, because that's quite uh, a good one to have, because it shows that you, it's coming from so the UK. Local. But, yes. um, there's loads of different options you can take on that one, so we'll leave it up to you to oh. decide what you want. Sort of your touch. Could do, uh, just try to find the uh, laptop lifestyle one so we can put that on. <laughs> but anyway, you, you get the gist. Right, moving on. Uh, edit listing template. No, we don't use don't any use, of these. We don't use, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so this option at the bottom, let's just talk about the reauthorize accounts. No, no, the other one I'm above oh, it. Sorry, so sometimes you might have to reauthorize your account. This is just like the start when you actually sign up and link the account. Sometimes we need to re reauthorize it because eSync will make a change and they'll ask us to reauthorize our accounts. So it's exactly the same as when we linked it at the start. Once in a blue moon, EasySync will also ask you to do this. Um, so just so you know, if yeah. they ever do, it's under store settings at the bottom here. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. That's store settings. Done. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you in the next video where we're going to show you a bit more about the dashboard. Cool.